welcome back to the channel this evening i'm going to do a video of the warren's business and commercial area this evening i mean large terrace which is a part of the warren's area this is the housing unit in the warren's area a place called large terrace that's the large terrace which is a part of the Warren's business and commercial area in the parish of St. Michael. And I'm going to take you to the back of the Warren's area. area this is pretty smart this is pretty smart here all pretty smart is situated within the warrens business and commercial area and it was established here in barbados it was opened here in barbados in 2002 yes this is all pretty smart here Further across from Pricemark will be Green Hill, which is also part of the Warrens area. Green Hill is just below Warrens. When you are coming from Bridgetown, you will approach Green Hill before you get to Warrens. Okay, this is our Pricemark here. This is our Pricemark here in Barbados, which is situated in the Warrens area, and you can see across the Green Hill as well is a part of the Warren's business and commercial area. Warren is considered as a city away from the city. This is all pretty smart here. This is the site of pretty smart. And this is the government buildings. The government buildings here which was built by Alvarat. Trinidadian National. And the past government party. Here for it. And you want to sue them for it. That's great. This is the offices where you'll find the unemployment bureau and the business and the, and the offices where you sign up for your ID card. And so on. That's all the Warren Tower built by a Trinidadian national by the name of Alvarac. And the past government could have paid for it. And he was in the city of Fort. This is all the site of Christ out here. A lot back at Warren's area. End of the massive door ball. This is the site of the unemployment bureau and the government buildings, the government offices and warrants. And this road is leading back to Oak Green Hill as well, as the Warren access road to the roundabout. And this is the rear end of the massive door mall. Which was once Galaxy Motors or uh, Warren's Motors. It was owned by Barbados Shipping and Trading, best referred as BS and T. And the on a, on a branch of the Custom Manning's appliance store was also in there when it moved in there in 2002. And there was also Warren's Motors. It replaced the Fort Warren Garage, which was in. Which was in St. Michael's Roar in Bridgetown. 
started with the storm mall with open sometime in 1999 after we placed for our garage which was the agents for Mitsubishi vehicles in Barbados this is all the mass this is all the Warren's buildings the government offices the same building that was built by Mr. Albarak uh, this is the Massey for the supermarket the Massey stores it was one super standard supermarket. Massey stores also moved here in 2002. It opened in November of 2002. Our uh, super center. The center was once owned by Barbados Shipping and Trading as well. You can see across the, the Williams Towers. This is the head office for the selling Barbados and it was originally ACH and B Harbor. This is all the Massey Dome, Massey Stores, Car Park. And you can see also the Massey Dome which was once bs &T. This whole Massey complex was owned by bs &T, which is Barbados Shipping and Trading. All the government, this is the government buildings owned by Mr. Albarat. I mean, which was built by Albarat. It was built by him, but it was it's owned by the government of Barbados. Guys, the Warrens, the government offices, the Warrens. Warrens is best referred to as a city away from the city. It is where a lot of businesses are moving out of town into the area. This is the rear end of the Massey Stores Super Center. Uh, this is the Scotia Bank. I mean, this is the CGI Towers as well. CGI stands for Consumer and Guarantee Insurance Company. And there's a bank, Banks of Scotia Bank as well. CGI Towers. And this is the Republic Bank. It was built recently. It's an addition to the Warren's area. CGI Towers here in Warrens. Warrens is becoming the main hub for business in Barbados, where lots of businesses are moving out of town into the area. Warrens started to develop into a business and commercial area sometime in The mid 90s, the late 90s. You can see the Boa Bab Towers here, and this is the Republic Bank in Orange. This is the CGI Towers. And this is Kentucky Restaurant here. This is the Boa Bab Towers. CGI Towers that leads back to the University of the West Indies at KF Hill Campus, which is also in close proximity to the Warren's area. This is the Kentucky Restaurant, which moves here sometime in 2009. Kentucky moves to Warren's area in 2009. CGI Towers. So while we started to develop something in the 90s, the thousand, a list of businesses in this CGI tower. Song in 1988. That's this. Orange is a bit area. The city away from the near city. And this is the Saul gas station, which was one Shell gas station. 
saw Cher moves to Warren's in 2000, in 1991. Sorry. And this is Chafet restaurant. Or another fast food restaurant which moves to the Warren's area in 1996. We are now approaching the Darcy Scott roundabout, which is best referred to as the St. Sun Motors roundabout. The left turn leads back to University of the West Indies at KF Hill campus. The straight ahead leads back to the Ronamap Highway. That will take you back to the north of the island via St. Thomas Church, Redmond's Village, and so on. And this is the Chaffet restaurant here. Chaffet restaurant. This is Simpson Waters here, which moved to Warren's in 1988 after it outgrew its the Barry Road location, which was just outside of Bridgetown. It moved to Warren's. In 1988, after it outgrew its Warren's location, I mean, it's on its Barry Road location, and you can see the saw head office from here as well. Which is that office for Saw. Saw me Simpson Oil Limited. This building here is the Saw Head Office. It was once by TC International Training Center. It moved to Warren's in 1991 as well. Some water is the agent for our Suzuki vehicles. Suzuki, and it also specializes in Mitsubishi, Isuzu, Mercedes Benz, Chevrolet, and Subaru vehicles as well. And this is the South Gas Station again, and in the background is the Boabab Towers. As I said before, Saul was one Shell Gas Station, and it moved and it was renamed, and it was renamed Saul sometime in 2015 after Simpson. Bought it over. So, Shell moved to Warren's in 1991. Chaffet moved to Warren's on the 12th of December 1996. They opened on the 12th of December 1996. This is all the ABC Highway here. Warren's is a part of the ABC Highway that runs from the airport and will aim at. Drive. You can see the other, the eastern end of the Boabab Towers, where you will come across, where you, that takes you back to the parish of St. Thomas via Jackson and so on. You can see the Williams Tower, which is head office for the Giselle in Barbados. This is Barbecue Bar here, this is the taxi, this is the restaurant. This is the playground for Chuck restaurant. This barbecue bar is a taxi Chuck restaurant. There's only two barbecue bars remaining here. In Barbados, on the Chaffet restaurant, that is the one in Rockley, and the one here in Warren, the barbecue barn. And this is all the ABC Highway. And this is the Mast Stores. And this is the Williams Towers again, which is had office at the cell in Barbados. You can see the CGI towers here again and the Chaffet restaurant. And this is the Massey stores, the Massey building. We will find a Lucky Horseshoe restaurant. Lucky Horseshoe is also a state house. It's a saloon and state house. We will find an arcade and, it's, and Lucky Horseshoe restaurant is open 24 7. This is the Massey Super Center supermarket. And this is the Massey, was owned by the Barbados Shipping Charity. This massive storage was once a super center supermarket. It moves into the area. As I said before, Warren was an area mainly used for agriculture, but sometime in the mid 90s, they started to move buildings out of town into the area. You can see the William Stowers here. He's had an office for the cell. This is 
all the Massey car park. You will find the Massey Supercenter Supermarket and the Massey Dorm. You see that the my offices again, one by which was built by Albarak, Mr. Albarak, of Trinidad National. That you started off in the first and we did the video. This is the section of Warren's on the highway where the coconut vendors play the tree. They sell the coconuts here on a daily basis. Right up the side of the highway. This is all the massive car park. And this is the massive dome. We will find a bunch of the first Caribbean bank. That's good, it's massive. This is the Warren section of the ABC Highway here. This is the massive dome. We will find a drive through as well. There's a bank, our first Caribbean bank, and a drive through for the bank as well. And this is the massive head office here, the other end, to the eastern end of the Warren's area. So I started from the western end, and I'm now taking to the eastern end. The eastern end, the western end is back by the other on the boat with some water inside. Uh, this is the eastern end now, close by the first Caribbean bank headquarters. First Caribbean bank, back by the response to the Great House. And then it was changed, later opened as the Massey. I mean, later opened as in the 1990s as office as CIBC. Cheers to the first Caribbean bank. First Caribbean bank. Not the Warriors. The former Warriors. We're close. And I'm not about the Everton Reach on the boat. Which is to the eastern end of the Warriors area. This is the area that takes you back to Jackson. I'm back to St. Thomas. This world leads by the Harrison Cave. I'll rest my husband. So thank you guys for watching and have a blessed day. You can see the Eunice Gibson Polyclinic. That's referred to as the Warren's Polyclinic. It was built in the 70s, 1970s, and it was supposed to be a crematorium, but the late Prime Minister Arabawa said it was too close to the road, so he decided to turn it into a polyclinic. But it was originally supposed to be a crematorium, and this is the road that leads back to Prismar and back to Green Hill as well. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed evening.